So while I'm in Michigan, Linda, I'll just go on and tell you that anybody you meet from Michigan, and we learned this in the sixth or seventh grade, knows Michigan is like a hand. Didn't we learn this? That's how you could put your puzzles together. And when you say to a person from Michigan, where do you live in Michigan? They do the same thing. They sigh and they shift their weight and they hold up their hand and they say, Michigan is like a hand. I live in the little finger or I live in the palm, wherever they live. So in Kalamazoo, Michigan, I said, I don't have a story about y'all, but I do know that you do this with your hand and I alluded to it. When the show was over, a woman came up and she said, Jeannie, you hit the nail on the head about Michigan. We do exactly what you say when anybody asks us, where do you live? I said, you're from Michigan. She said, yes. I said, where are you from? And y'all, I'll be dog. <laughs> she didn't sigh, turn around, put her hand up and say, I live in the thumb of Michigan, but that's not what I want to talk to you about. I want to tell you that I'm from the North, but she said, I went to college with a student from the South, a young woman, and she's my best friend. And so I flew down to spend some time with her. I had some time off from work, but she had to work that day. She said, I'm going to take you to the little neighborhood pool where our little condos are. She said, that'd be great. A day at the pool by myself, reading a book I want to read. No one else, no children will be there for Pete's sake. And so she took and she was there and she had a glass of tea and she had a book. And it's just, she said, can't y'all imagine what a glorious day. She was reading the book and she heard some noise and looked over and she kept her head down like she was reading the book. But when you got on sunglasses, that's when you can really look around. <laughs> and she looked around and she saw two women who turned out to be Southern women coming in with enough stuff to eat and stay there and slather up for the entire day. She also could see through her sunglasses and they didn't know she was looking. One of them said, who is that? Another one said, no. So where did they walk to? Past all these chaise lounges completely empty and parked their bodies, one empty chaise lounge here, there, and then two of them over there. One of them said, hey. <laughs> She said, hey. She said, I don't believe I know you. Have we met? She said, I'm visiting. I have a few days off work. I'm here seeing a friend of mine. Oh, you just going to love it. You just, where, where are you from? And she said, well, I'm actually from Michigan. Oh, she's from Michigan. Did you hear that? She's from Michigan, way up there in Michigan. Where are you from in Michigan? And this woman telling me this story said, Jeannie, I almost hyperventilated. I realized with a tea glass in my hand and a book in this hand, I couldn't answer her. <laughs> I, just, I just started shaking. I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to put it down. I didn't want to move my thumb off my place in the book. And so I just leaned over and said, I grew up in the thumb of Michigan. <laughs> And this woman said, oh, darling, I am so sorry. But look, you've made something of yourself. <laughs> and then she turned back and this woman kept reading the book. But before long, she heard the third woman say, what'd she say? Where'd she grow up? This one said, shh, don't bring it up again. She grew up in a slum in Michigan. LAUGHTER